They are celebrating at the local resort. Snow finally fell on the Wasatch Mountains. Will they celebrate later, though, as the youth get ready to face the Washington Huskies? Pac-12 Hoops is up next. Center on the campus of the University of Utah. It's Pac-12 College Hoops. As today, the Washington Huskies stay on the road. Can they finally get a road win? Matching up with the Utes of Utah. Hi, everybody. Joel Myers alongside Coach Ernie. Match up today of two teams coming off surprises on Thursday night and surprises. atmosphere everybody's ready to come inside to watch the huskies take on the youths and the starting five and the change well cj wilcox who grew up here in salt lake city he is in the starting lineup along with abdul gaddy tony roden terrence ross and aziz Enjai. those are the starting five for in his 10th year lorenzo romar and what a story family and friends here he had 45 tickets so a lot of support and Jai got it and there's some length working in the backcourt as we saw terrence ross a swing guy at about six six a, a very nice score one of three that average the game they're going to face there's a good start in Boulder on Thursday night. The Huskies is wrote, tried to barge his way in, follows his own, and keeps it alive for Terrence Ross. Nice play. Roten's a tough matchup on the floor right now because he's so good at getting to the hole. Ross, a little bit long, chasing it down though, C.J. Wilcox. Third try at the offensive end, so good hustle play. And I was about to say they were up 9-0 in Boulder, but then it headed south in a hurry. Well, it sure did. That's just role play again. So it's be very important to them just keep their composure here. Quick finger roll. Shot clock. Two minutes into the contest. Blackton's looking for contact. Instead, it was blocked away. Great play by Gaddy. Sending it up. And lost by Wilcox. Stays with it and blows the. Trying to match up with Abdul Gaddy. Got to go again. It was Hines again. And peeling away is Terrence Ross. So still looking for their first points. I mentioned they only averaged 57 points a game. Barely shooting 40%. Wilcox. Pretty good luck. And he can get rid of it in a hurry. Well, he certainly can, and the concern for Utah in this game is they've got to capitalize. They had two or three chances to score down at this other end. And the other thing is they've got to take care of that basketball. You don't want to get Washington in a transition game. Washington has started the conference, our contest. One for eight. Utah looking for the first points. Story on the attack. What a reverse. Kareem Story, the freshman from Baltimore, with the first two points of the game for the Utes. Took a while, four minutes. Five count? No. And Stoviak, he saw on the sideline, wanted it. Deflected out of bounds. Martin touched it last, so when we come back, it'll be Washington's basketball. Here. And a great look and a lead for Utah. Over the last four games, Dijon Farr has averaged 11 a contest. On the season, it's only six. He's a junior from South Carolina. 
Caddy sets it up beautifully. Having a great look. And a lead for Utah. Over the last four games, they had the back door. Unfortunately, the turnover, and then Rote gets away in the open court and is fouled trying to go for the score. So, big, big point in this game is how well Utah handles Washington's up the lane pressure defense, where they're going to overplay everything on the wing. Tony Rote gets the first of two. Well, Larry Kristoviak spent a lot of time with his staff on transition defense, even after makes. He said, We watched film, and he said, It'll be 31 on the shot clock, and they're next to the rim at the other end. Well, that's why it's so important for them to score and have a good shooting percentage, because if you're missing shots, you're going to give Washington a chance to get out and transition. If you're turning it over, you're going to get a much better job, Washington, of having, having patience, but sometimes that can make you a little bit hesitant. I think they need to play a little bit more freer and just get a little bit more life into their game offensively. Gaddy with the stutter steps. Ben. Simmons gets the roll. Getty to the work. Simmons on the finish. The Richard. A little bit too much hesitation again. I, I love the fact that they're defending. They get an opportunity to go in transition. They need to push it even more and attack this Utah team. They're so. Sean Kemp Jr. in for the first time. Good diagonal. Gant won't get it. Kemp will on the follow. So both teams going a little bit deeper. Well, uh, again, Jr. from Houston. Answers right back. Darnell Gant starting to warm up now. Martin can't convert on the three-point play. Or Dawson, rather. So it stays tied at 16. Off the rub, Wilcox. Gaddy and another three. All of a sudden, it's starting to heat up for both teams, fortunately. Inside, he jogged off the court. This is going to tape it up and get it back in the game. Inside of six to play. Gaddy is the smallest guard right now that Romar has in basically his rotation. So when you talk about Story, Hines, and also Watkins, these guys are all under six feet. Step through and a denial. And John still has time. And Ross isn't timid. Got the triple. Three-point lead once again for the Huskies. Ross is one. Still a one-point lead for the Huskies, despite their shooting problems. Wilcox. And he wanted a foul. He won't get it, but he's finally on the board after nine tries. His first basket. Well, the weapon for Utah. Nine turnovers the entire game. Backdoor overplay. Roten gets the roll. Good look by Gaddy. Not a good look. story. It was, it was an excellent. But play harder on offense. They staff said at halftime. You know, Utah's staff cut hard, get open, and they're half court sets because they are dictating the tempo. Now Washington with it to start the second half, and right away they go to Rope. Well, they ran. So adjustments, and Gaddy back-to-back -back layups, and the biggest lead of the game now for the Husk. Protected it against Enjai. Again, what a nice post player he is. Great footwork, great eye-hand coordination. Roden trapped, but escaped that one. Did settle for a lot of threes. Ross with the left hand. Tough one off the glass. Terrence Ross. Terrence that was pretty. Ross. Well, three for three to open up the second half. I could not miss. Darnell Gant's going to be checking back into the game with the next whistle. So as soon as I say that to you, of course, he misses his first year in the second half. And John off the glass with a nice touch. Nice touch, nice. Out of the timeout, trying to pick up points off a turnover. The ninth giveaway by Utah. They had nine all of last game. Wilcox, finally, he gets it. Back home, one for nine of the first half. Coming off the bench in the second. To the floor on the drive is out of the play. Washington has numbers at one end. Wilcox settles for the jump shot. Gives Utah to lay up at the other end. Nice setup, nice pass. Terrence Ross. No jumper that time. Good job of settling them down. Ross came over, fronted by far, though. Now, 10 on the shot clock. Good look for Ross. Off the pick, he gets the triple. Good screen by Gant over there. Time by Washington. It worked exactly. The zone got Utah to stand around, had to settle for a jump shot that time instead of a pick and roll layup. Roden up against the big guy right by him. Bad matchup for Utah. Tony Roden put. Defense for Utah. 
Now deep into the clock. Mega decision. On the dive, Simmons didn't get the roll. After it, back out, it stays with the play. Desmond Simmons, redshirt freshman. They work on his homecoming, just two for 13. Now deep into the clock is Gaddy. Can he get there? Gave it up. They got to go. It'll be Ross. Clutch! Terrence Ross barely got it away in time for a six-point lead. You believe. Gaddy waiting for the call. He's got to worry about a five count. Path is there. Easy layup. Nobody helped out. 55-47 and protected the rim. Now can Ross finally get one? All the misses. Six in a row. Yes. This is the critical one. To make it a four-point lead. It was 55-47, don't forget, with a minute 40 to play. And Roten had a chance to put him up with two free throws by 10. Ross came through finally. And Washington needs a timeout here, obviously, to set their defense. Great job. The inbounds. Full court pressure by Washington. Dijon Farr. Watkins with the air ball. And told you with 66 seconds left. It is now official. Washington has ended their road losing streak at five straight. And our leaders, after Washington wins it 5-4, but got everything they wanted from Utah.